My question for you is, do you like fish? Yeah, I love fish. I love cod, I love halibut, kind of any white fish, and I love salmon. Trying to grill it, though, is a little bit of a problem. Why? Overcooks, flakes, sticks to the grill plate, and kind of doesn't turn out awesome. Today, I want to share my five ingredient fabulous fish recipe done on the grill. If you like fish, you don't want to miss this. Let's go. Thanks for tuning in today, really appreciate that. My name is Scott, welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large, YouTube channel all about the Class B van lifestyle. Whether you're no time still researching, part-time just taking cool trips, maybe even full-time like a crazy like me, I've been living in my van for almost three years now. What we do here is we learn together, we share together, you decide what's the best way for you to RV. Today we're talking fish. Five ingredients, fish, foil, butter, salt and pepper, and some veggies. We're gonna cook them in foil packets on the grill. It takes just no time at all. I think you're gonna love it. If you've been you know, frustrated with fish on the grill, I think you're gonna love this. Let's jump inside my Winnebago Travato GL into the galley and let's prep the packets. So welcome to my galley. This is one of the best things about my van is it has a very distinct four living areas. We're gonna spend a lot of time in this area, which is the galley. I have a huge fridge, a huge freezer. I can put four seven pound bags of ice in my freezer and still have room for things like this fish if you saw my recent video on costco and how to repurpose and repackage you saw me purchasing the individually frozen pieces of cod i've kept them in the refrigerator so they are thawed but they are cool what i'm going to do is um put them in my uh little packet here so again the the ingredients are fish foil veggies yeah butter salt and pepper and we're going to add a little bit of old bay seasoning who doesn't like a little old bay so let me show you how i do the foil um, this takes just a little bit of prep time and then about five eight ten minutes or less on the barbie and then we're done and we're eating a delicious fish meal so here's how i like to do the foil um, i used to cook with parchment paper all the time when we had a bed and breakfast. Uh, foil is a much better tool as an RVer. And what I do is I take a sheet of um, foil and I get a fairly good distance, like about that much. And then I actually fold it over. Why? Because the foil's kind of flimsy and I don't want any problems. And then what I do is I kind of fold the corners like this. So I'm creating all four corners. So I'm creating a little bit of a, of a, a pouch, if you will. So the, the fish and the veggies are gonna fit into this just really beautifully. And then we're gonna put butter, salt and pepper and veggies in the same packet. But here's the deal on the veggies. These are washed, trimmed and ready to go. I microwave these in the bag with butter and salt and that's how I cook them in advance. If we tried to cook the veggies with the fish, the fish will be dried out, mushy, and the veggies might be perfect. So what I do in advance, like I did last night for dinner, I had green beans with my chicken. I put butter, salt, pepper in the same bag. I put it on a paper plate. It goes in the microwave for about three to four minutes until the veggies are done to the doneness that I like, and then they're done. So these two are cooked, ready to go. They're gonna warm gently with the fish because it doesn't take too long. Um, we're going to get the fish prepared in here, then we're going to go out and start the barbecue, grill, and let this warm up a little bit. One trick I learned as in chef school is that you kind of let meat warm to almost room temperature so it cooks more quickly, more thoroughly, without burning the outside. Super important for fish. Most people way overcook fish, and if you have bad fish, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to put the um, fish in the pouch, veggies, salt and pepper, butter. Watch me do that. We're going to do it in fast time. Hang on. Okay, I've got one foil packet ready to go. Let me make another one here for you. Again, I'm just kind of bending the corners up, creating a little crease. Nothing overly complicated about this. You can do this. And again, what I've done is just create a little pouch. Now I'm gonna actually put the fish juice from here into this to help kind of cook it in its own juices. Let me get my trusty RVR favorite tool, the scissor, and also how I can cut cuts down on some of the mess, but cooking in its own juice, I think keeps it from drying out. 
So it's just like that into the trash. So that's one lovely piece of fish. Next one, uh, I like to kind of do it the, the good side up. Um, I'm sure Julia Child will have something to say about that. So you can see there's just a few tablespoons of juice in there, right? So again, good side up. That goes just like that. Let me get a paper towel to kind of wipe some of this up. Now I'm going to put um, uh, the green beans in on the side. So again, these are already cooked. This one we'll put on top. Let's just try something different. You know what I might also do is put in a few um, tomatoes, right? So I store those right up here in my overhead cabinet in my bar. They go right here. Yum. So let's put a few grape tomatoes in there. Yes, that's not the best place to store them, but um, like that. So not too bad, right? Okay, let's put a little butter in there. I use the Land Lakes butter with canola oil. What I find is it's just a little easier to work with. It's a little bit more malleable, soft, if you will. So a healthy dose of that. How's that looking for us already? And we are in pretty good shape. Let's do a little sprinkle of the Old Bay seasoning. Okay, these are in pretty good shape. So let's kind of pack these bad boys up. And again, what I'm trying to do is just create a little bit of a pouch. It's okay if the steam gets out. This isn't overly scientific. I just want to kind of keep them together. That's the main thing. And just like that, we are in pretty good shape. Okay, this one, do the same thing. Just trying to make sure the juices don't get out. That would be not so great. Not looking for a 100% seal here. Letting some of the steam do the work just like that. So with that, we're going to get a paper plate to just kind of put these on to get them to the barbecue. And I am really happy with this. Dinner is minutes away. Pretty cool, right? Let's go get the grill going. So my grill, as you know, is a char broil grill propane. This is my second grill in three years. I'm gonna turn this thing on propane. I can hear it hissing. This is the button to start it. This new one is so much better. It fires right away. You can see the flame in there just barely. Well, it's too bright out. <laughs> uh, you'll have to trust me on that. Okay, let's give this a few minutes to warm up. And then the fish goes on here. The fish is warming up in the galley so it cooks more quickly. Give it a thumb up if you learn anything, sure appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel if you like van tours, if you like van life tips like Van Chef, and if you want to know where to take your van to cool places, you don't want to miss a single video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll be as smart as you can be on the RV. All right, with about 400 degrees inside the uh, grill right now, I'm going to turn the gas down and we are going to go grab the fish packets like this it's a beautiful day here in texas dallas fort worth area it's in the low 80s okay so we're going to again just put these right on the grill one, two, three, go. Just like that, we'll check the watch. It's 2.15, we'll give them about, I don't know, eight minutes, 10 minutes, and we'll check that out. Still grilling, we're about 10, 12 minutes in. I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes. It's really baking it more than grilling it at this point since it's steaming in its own juices. So uh, let me show you where I store some of my stuff. That might be a, a tip for you. I don't know, maybe you got a better idea. 
that sometimes happens. Let me show you how I store my things. So for example, the foil, I fit this in the under galley sink. It fits right behind the water filter that comes with my Travato, cold water filtered at the tap in the sink. It fits right in there. And then I've got my leather cleaner for my boots. That goes right here. And then my Windex fits right there. And all that fits in just very nicely, just like that. I'm gonna wait for my scissors to wash those. My seasoning, I keep down here, right here. These are baggies, cups, cup lids for my um, hydro flask cups and these are my spices. And then my silverware is right here. We're gonna use the fork I did with the butter. And then up here, I keep my plate. So we're gonna have one of these handy and we're gonna get a, use the paper plate from outside for the rice, and that's where I store my stuff. All right, time check. We are looking at about 20 minutes since we put the fish in. Um, I did a little sneak peek. It's looking pretty good. I think we're about done. Let's take a peek. Ooh, that's looking pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. The fish is flaking. I'm gonna call those done. Let's look at this one quick. For sure, holy cow. What do you think? Yeah, let's uh, put these on the plate. I'm gonna grab the pinchers and I store those right in here in my drawer. What we want to do is get them off the fire. Let's get our sturdy plate. Do like that, put the paper plate on. We really don't want to spill the juices. Except in the fire. That's okay there. Oh, yes. All right, and then into the van we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take them off the paper plate here and I'm gonna move it right there. I'm gonna take this one and move it to the plate. Put this on the table with my fork and we are preparing for dinner. My question is, what are you having for dinner? Let's take a bite and see how we did. It looks really good. It smells amazing. It's so flaky. Man, is that a keeper. I think a big part of the trick was getting the fish to cook in its own juice. It's really moist. I think it could have actually cooked it for 15 minutes, not 20. Well, that is really good. Green beans, still got a little, little Christmas to them. Tomatoes are hot. Ooh. That was a winner, winner, fabulous fish dinner. If you enjoyed that recipe, if you enjoyed these tips, I'm sure to appreciate a thumb up. Comment below, what do you think of this meal? Would you do this? And do you have a grill? Uh, grill is probably my most, uh, most used kitchen item. So until we see you soon, I wish you to van chef better. And of course, journey on. We'll see you later.